So what you're looking for is a way to embed. Let me see if I can pull this up. So what you have is an EDU Canon. Uh, we don't have a way that you can embed, but you do have a link that pulls this up. So what you're looking to do is just embed this portion of your presentation that goes through. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the link here. And Canvas does let you embed without having an embed code, um, but you have to go into a page. I've created a page called EGU Canon Embed. And you go to the HTML editor, and what you're going to use is iframe. And an iframe allows you to create a frame to a source within this frame. So when you view it, um, you'll be able to see that content that's in there. So the first thing you have to do is tell it what your source is, src equal, and then a quote. And then again, I need to, I think I did this already, but copy. And I'm pasting in, here's that URL that I copy and pasted, and then an end quote. Now, there's two important things we need to do um, to be able to see this within the full screen. The first, first is the width of what you want to see. For this, we want to set it to 100%. That tells you that it's going to fill up the screen left to right. The next, of course, is the height, H-E-I-G-H-T. Height of it for this though, we don't want to say 100% because for some reason it never comes out right. So I'm going to set it to 700 pixels. So no percent, just 700. So that's really all the variables that we need in here. And then you can close that bracket. And then you have to have your exit of the iframe. So that piece of code right there, if we go back to the rich content editor you'll see that it has this gray box and that tells you that there's something there but it doesn't know what it is. So now if I click save, watch what happens. Hopefully. Oh, well for some reason it didn't say, so here's what it did if it does 100%. I wonder why it didn't pick up the pixels. Let me check this, edit. Um, let's look at the HTML edit. Height 150. I told it 700, didn't I? 700 close with 100% H-E-I-G-H-T height and then end iframe. Maybe I just typed that wrong, so let me see here. Oh, I see what the problem is. Edit. I forgot my closing quote on the... <sighs> so right here, that closing quote. And then the height here, again, so as you can see, it's important to make sure you close your quotes. This gives you your parameters. So you have width, parameter, quote, 100% quote, height, parameter, equal, quote, 700, quote, and that's pixels. So, and again, source is the same thing. Source equal parameter quote is the URL quote. So, so now with this, <laughs> now you should see the whole thing. Um, what this also does by setting 100% width and then defining a height is, as you move in, you'll notice the content shrinks and allows you to fill um, to a certain point. I mean, then you, you have to go through and you get the scroll for smaller windows. But up to a certain point, it's going to shrink it down to whatever it's capable of shrinking it down to. So, so that way you can actually embed the whole content within here and then students, of course, can uh, click to play. And here is our first piece right here. It should slide to the side. Uh, you'll see that it kind of crunches this. You pick one. And hey, I guess that's a 25% chance that I would have got that right. Okay, I might have been listening. <laughs> but so there you go. Um, again, um, I'm going to send you this bit of code separately. Um, and you can just copy and paste. The only thing that you'll really need to change is with your EDU Canon videos is just to take again, let me get that uh, video over here. All I did was take this URL here, copy, um, and that's the direct URL, and then that's what I paste right in here. And then you should be able to just put that code in there. 
um, go back to rich content and save and you should be able to see that. So I hope that helps explain a way that you can embed content. And this is true of any content. If you're trying to, you can embed a separate web page in an iframe into that frame that's in there. Of course, it'll do funny things sometimes. But in this case with this media, it seems to be working. So give this a try and let me know what you think.